Hey Life Kids, and welcome to our series, Holly Jolly Kitchen. And it is the fourth week of our series. And it is what? Christmas. Yes, it is Christmas and we are so excited. Well, we're gonna get into our best gift that we could ever receive. And that's a Bible story telling about the day that baby Jesus was born. So let's get into our story and then we'll come back and talk. Merry Christmas life kids, let's pray. Father God, thank you for this day. Please help this day be a good day, Lord. Please help people have a great Christmas. Thank you for letting people look up to you, Lord. Thank you for letting people be able to celebrate Christmas. Because we know that Christmas is not about the presents, Santa Claus, and all that other stuff. But we know that it's the day when you was born, Lord. So please help us. And we love you, Lord. And please remind us that Christmas is about you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. sending us his son. Yeah, at Christmas time, we celebrate Jesus. In fact, why don't we hit them with the good news? By, by good news, you mean, of course, the good news of Jesus. That's right, Reese, it's story time. <laughs> this is Joseph. What's up, Joe? And this is Mary. How are we doing? Wouldn't you know it, they were expecting a baby boy. But this wasn't like a regular baby. This was a special baby. 
one to really celebrate because he was God's son. While Mary was pregnant, the ruler of the country made everyone go back to their hometown to be counted in a census. Ah, oh, census! Uh, one, two, three, four. What are you doing? I'm counting my senses and five. <laughs> no, not senses. A census. Oh. That means counting the people who live in a certain area. In order to be counted, they had to take a little trip back to home, which was Bethlehem. It, ah, so I guess Joseph and Mary really had to roll on out of there. <laughs> That's right. They packed up their donkey and hit the road. And after the long trip, they were finally there. The end. Uh, what? No, not even close. This is where things get pretty crazy. <gasps> oh, yeah! The baby! Was it time? Sound the alarm. This is not a drill. I repeat, this is not a drill. Yeah, it was time, but there was a big problem. <gasps> there were so many people in Bethlehem, they didn't have a place to stay. No, say it isn't so! They went all around town looking for somewhere to stay, but all the inns were full. But they weren't completely out of options. <clears throat> uh... It, hey guys, listen, there's no room in the M, but I guess you could stay in the stable if you want to. So, are you trying to tell me that Mary and Joseph were willing to whisk it all and stay in a barn with animals? That's right, Graham. They were about to have a baby, and they knew they could trust God's plan. And then, drum roll please. <gasps> Jesus, God's son was born. <gasps> hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Mary and Joseph wrapped Jesus and placed him in a manger. Oh, and then that very same night, some shepherds in a nearby field were taking care of their sheep. <laughs> there they were, just tending to their flock. When? An angel suddenly appeared to them. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it was scary, but the angel told them not to be afraid because he had some good news. The angel let the shepherds know all about how baby Jesus was born and that he was the special baby that everyone was waiting for. And then even more angels joined the first one and they all celebrated and sang because Jesus was born. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. After that, the shepherds set out to find baby Jesus. When the shepherds made it to the stable, they told Mary and Joseph what the angel had said. Mary and Joseph were amazed at what God had done, sending his son Jesus to be the savior of the world. And that's why we celebrate Jesus at Christmas. God sent him to be the best gift ever. He came here to give hope, love, and forgiveness to the world. God, thank you for loving us and sending us your son, Jesus. We celebrate him today and every day. Amen. Well, Life Kids, I hope you all enjoyed our story today, learning about the reason that we are celebrating, which is the birth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus. Well, I can't wait to hear about you all's gifts and the love that you all receive on Christmas Day. I love you and we will see you next week.